Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at this. Uh, you might have checked out the other video about the uh, EE Orange Stroke T Mobile um, uh, microcell or femtocell that I did recently. Um, that was for one of these. Um, I got a pair of these uh, shipped out to me last week. Um, pretty good they are. I've set one up now and it's uh, it's working fine. Um, this is the equivalent uh, for Vodafone. Uh, I've been getting uh, quite a few requests to do uh, a quick review video of, of these and obviously the E one. Um, th this is actually the, the, the first version of the Vodafone uh, Femtocell. These are actually about three years old now. Um, I bought this for £100 um, and um, as you can see this is actually quite discoloured because it's been sat near the window and caught the sun. Um, these ones are rock solid. Uh, version 2 um, is a little bit more rounded uh, in terms of how it looks. Uh, probably not very dissimilar to this in the electronics. Version 3 is um, about as small as a, one of these microtax actually. It just plugs into your, your wall socket uh, and does everything via Wi-Fi. Uh, this on the other hand still needs a cable. Um, there's not really much to it really. Um, you plug the cable in, you plug the power in. Uh, you need to set up an account um, a, a login for Vodafone.co.uk. Uh, uh, once you've got that hooked up, there's an option to um, to activate one of these. You put the serial number in, and then you assign what cell phones are actually allowed to use this. Uh, this is the beauty about these boxes. You actually retain control over who uses it. Um, so, um, which basically means that if you have one of these in your home, and um, you're always finding that before you have one of these, you're always getting network busy. Um, this pretty much guarantees that your car will go through as long as you have internet on your home or, or your office. Um, it, you, you know, you're good to go. Um, and, and your neighbors who obviously aren't registered or you who you haven't registered uh, on the Vodafone uh, website aren't going to be able to use this. Uh, it's got four LEDs, power, um, internet, uh, and then uh, the, the tick one. So the, t the top two will be on and the, the bottom will be on. If someone's making a call or sending a text, then the the third one will be on as well flashing um, I think these ones only support I think four or eight phones the EE ones I'm not even sure um, these are that new I've only got this um, last week so I've yet to actually try it with all my phones um, they, they, they I think these ones support up to eight I'm not too sure though so don't quote me on that um, so this is just a quick video really um, about this um, pretty straightforward to, to set up if you do have any more questions about this uh, and you're not having much joy with Vodafone though, uh, uh, drop, drop me a comment and I'll try and help. Um, but these are pretty, pretty straightforward to uh, to set up. Um, you just need to, to log into Vodafone. Not as not as easy as the EE box, but still fairly straightforward. So um, please check out some of the other videos about um, brick phones. I don't normally do videos about microcells or femtocells, but uh, I've been getting a few requests for, for, for um, a quick video on, on these. So uh, thanks for watching uh, and please like, share and subscribe.